Casey has a problem, a torn ACL ligament. They're not supposed to be that much movement in the knee. Probably something like stepping in a hole. Something happened that causes the leg to snap down, and that's when it usually gets torn. They're casting Casey's leg for the solution a custom made brace. Kind of like this football player's brace. Do any stat apprentice? Another <laughs> stat apprentice. <laughs> Supposedly, <laughs> one day I get to step up to the big league. <laughs> ben Blakey moonlights as stat keeper in training for the Dundee County Stratton football team. His day job is just blocks away, making those braces for dogs like Casey. Blakey started Hero Braces in 2005. Now his small business builds custom braces for five pound chihuahuas, 250 pound mastiffs, and everything in between. Mostly dogs, even a flamingo once, made in rural Benkelman for customers near and far. We've gone to South Africa, Australia, Lithuania. Like we do a lot in Canada. Like it, it's just the internet makes the world so small. Blakey has his own wide-ranging personal journey. I grew up in this, this small town in, in Nebraska, and, and when I was in high school, um, I actually had bone cancer. So I spent about uh, eight or nine years trying to save my leg. The tumor was right in my knee here, and um, they had replaced my knee uh, actually twice. We're at this point that I was going to have this really high above-the-knee amputation. They said, hey, you know, from your knee down, that's still good. We can pull it up and we can turn around and we can make it your knee. Make your foot your knee. Make my foot my knee. But Blakey, then an engineering student at UNL, struggled to find a prosthetic that fit right. So, I mean, I grew up on a farm, pretty innovative, and, and I would take ideas to them, like this, fix this, and oh, you can't do that. And, and so I said, well, where do I go to school? Dallas, it turns out. Then he worked in South Carolina, Kansas City, and Denver before the pace of Benkelman brought him home to start his own business, which was fine, except. I represent 50% of the amputee population in Dundee County, so it, does, it doesn't, it doesn't. So the clientele <laughs> locally is not very strong. Right, right. They forget that there can be an expert in our small town, right? Blakey was already dabbling with dog braces. That became his focus. Less competition. Blakey says there's just a handful of dog brace makers worldwide, but... Talk about the challenge of the process of doing what you do with dogs. The ch biggest challenge with the dogs is, is fur. Fur makes it really slippery, so it wants to slide off. So we have to figure out all these different ways to hold it onto the leg. The other big challenge is this wasn't taught in veterinary school, right? Everything that we're doing, we're just completely making up. Yeah. I mean, it's through iterations. We're like, there's science behind it, but like, it's completely made up. This has kind of been a, a process over 15 years of, of figuring out how to sculpt and, and, and change these. Yeah. Sure, I like to finish things and see things done. Uh -huh. That's where my OCD comes <laughs> into, I guess. <laughs> Benkelman's a town of a thousand. Walking distance to Kansas, a little further to Colorado. The kind of place where it's no problem shooting an undisturbed interview on a main street. 
To be fair, things were shutting down early because of the football playoff game that night. Talk about the pros and cons of, of being an entrepreneur, you know, being a, a startup guy in a, in a place the size of Bank of America. I mean, the nice thing is like I, all these different buildings, I know who's in each of them and like I can walk in and I can talk to them. Like the bank, I can go like right away and talk to them in 15 minutes, right? right. The other side is the bank's used to lending for ag lending. It's not, it's not, not commercial. Not for dog braces. No, not for dog braces. Yeah. What would you tell other small town entrepreneurs? What have you learned? Just because somebody says no doesn't mean that they don't want to help. So it's really learning about communicating better what you're trying to do. How important is what he's doing to Bankelman? I think it's hugely important. Um, I mean, number one, a lot of our industry is ag, and he's one of the one, I think, businesses that really isn't ag dependent. And... Um, so when the economy is kind of up and down, it's kind of something that's just different. And also having a global business in a place where nobody would think could be, it's, a, it's an example of what's possible for small communities. Back to Casey, that brace has her running around again. She's thriving, so is Blakey's business. Interest in hero braces has steadily grown over the years. Rural Nebraska invigorates Ben Blakey, fuels his passionate curiosity. I always look at how something can be better or how I can solve something or I'll wake up in the middle of the night and have an idea and I'll Google for two hours so I can go back to sleep. I mean, it, that's just the fun part for me. He's just kind of a creative person. He doesn't think a lot um, the same way a lot of people I know, think, and so it's kind of refreshing and exciting to hear way? him talk. Um, I think he just thinks really big. The company is Hero Braces. Blakey says the hero is the dog, or the owner, or the veterinarian. There's a hero in all of us, and we're trying to tease that out. But so much of, of what we see of someone that's um, has to wear a device, right? They're challenged. Well, they're a hero. They've overcome different things. And we're just trying to help guide them along the way from what we've been through. Kind of like an entrepreneurial guy who heard the words, you've got cancer, and made good things happen. 